and welcome yet to another session of uh, form builder so in this session we'll explore the critical role of form validation in the o3 uh, form builder by the end of this session you'll understand how to add basic validation rules to your forms and uh, this is very key because it will ensure that the data that you're going to collect is accurate and complete uh, we have uh, various uh, validation options available but in this uh, session we'll focus on just a few so let us go ahead and uh, look at the first one which is uh, required fields and as the name suggests required fields ensures that the field has to be filled out before the form can be submitted um, we can practice this using the patient vitals information. So under the patient vitals, we do have uh, pulse and uh, temperature. So let's see how uh, or what happens if we make these fields required. Um, you can see no field has any uh, validations. We haven't put uh, the validations across. And uh, it's important that as you or use your interactive builder to set your required field. You can also uh, check what is happening uh, on the schema editor. So you can see that for Pulse, uh, the field is not set as required. As you can see, required is false, and the same applies for temperature. So what happens if we just go right ahead and uh, edit this to make the field mandatory or required. So for you to do that, just navigate to the uh, interactive builder, edit question action, and you open that and just click on uh, field required. Then you save. Uh, this basically now uh, sets your field as required. Let's do again uh, the same for temperature and we click on save. So we have now set our two fields under the patient vitals as required. And now you can see something has happened here. On the schema, the required is no longer false. It's now true. Uh, but also, if we can look at what happens when we preview our form, you can see that now we do have these two asterisks um, for, for each of uh, the fields meaning that these two fields now uh, have been set as required and that the information um, must be entered before submitting uh, this form. So if we save and update our form, uh, so we have completed that and uh, that's like basically it when it comes to setting uh, the field as required it, it's just very straightforward and that's it for this session bye bye